All right, everybody, welcome back to week two of our NFL picks. The Patriots didn't do too hot in week one. I didn't do too hot in week one either. Just missed out on that uh, point spread on a few different games. So uh, just under 500, but a chance to bounce back this week, and we plan on doing that. It's going to be a quick one, not a lot of edits like I had last week because I'm running up against the clock a little bit. But we're going to go for it. We're going to pick these games even still. Uh, we'll start things off with Jacksonville and Indianapolis. Indianapolis favored by minus 10.5. It's minus 10 some places, but FanDuel's minus 10.5, so we're going to go with that. This is a very tough game to pick. I honestly think, you know, Jacksonville played well last week against the Bills. I'm surprised with that game that it's 10.5. I still feel like that's a big number. I'm going to go ahead and take Jack, Jake Jacksonville. There was a ton, there was sometimes over the last, you know, few weeks or so that I, I or that even last week just that I feel like the point spread was big enough that I felt like you know it's not it's not no point spread is big enough I'm still going to take the bills and I we're going to do that that point spread was very big it would have been very easy to pick the, the the Jaguars against the spread and then straight up obviously you would want a ton of money if you did that but I feel like that line is is big enough with the Colts that I don't feel like they're that good of a team I mean you were giving the bills Minus 14 and a half, who I think are worlds better than the Colts. Minus 10 for the Colts. I understand that's four points, but that's still, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, minus 10 and a half is a lot. Minus nine might be a different story. Minus eight and a half, but minus seven and a half for the Colts is too much. I'll take the Jaguars there. Minus two and a half for New, New England over Cleveland. Uh, without Nick Chubb, understandable. I lines, you know, changed a little bit because of that. Um, that. This game is a tough one. I think this one is the stay away this week. If I do one stay away, it's Cleveland, New England. I've stayed away from Cleveland games two weeks in a row now because they are just so hard to figure out. But I think with this one, I'll have to go with Cleveland. I, you know, I hate to do it, but I think that New England has been riding, you know, this hot streak, and I, I, I just don't know that they're going to be able to continue it this week against Cleveland. I feel like a loss has to come at some point, and it's going to be this one. So my gut really says Cleveland plus two and a half, getting points is a good pick. Atlanta, Dallas, Dallas favored by minus seven and a half. You know, picked against Dallas last week when they were going up against Denver. Um, Atlanta's starting to play a little better. You know, Atlanta's a playoff team right now, so this is a tough one too. If you know, I, I feel like you know the teams. If you're just going by how they're trending, you pick Atlanta here, but Dallas is certainly better. I think I'm gonna have to go with Dallas minus seven and a half. I think they have a bounce back week. And I honestly think Atlanta's offense is going to eventually be figured out. And that you know, Cordero Patterson, I he's having a great season. I think he'll continue to do so because he's one of the only weapons there. But I just ultimately think they're not going to have enough to keep up with the Cowboys. You're talking about two defenses that have struggled at times, and the Cowboys have more in their arsenal. So I I'm going to have to go Cowboys minus seven and a half. I think they find a way to cover that. Um, Jets and Bills. Bills minus thirteen and a half. Um, the Bills. Bit us last week with the with the minus 14 and a half they were unable to cover. Another big number. Uh, you know, I I feel like I want to go Bills minus 13 and a half again. I want to take it, but uh, I don't want history to repeat itself either. I I just wonder how are the how are they gonna play differently in this game against the Jets than they did against the Jaguars? And what was it that led to those struggles against the Jaguars is also an important question. Um, but if I had to take this one, I think I'm still going to go with the Bills minus 13 and a half. I still think they're a good team. I think they'll come out motivated. I think things will flip. They'll flip the script from last week. They're not going to lose like that again. There's, or, uh, there's no way. And, and they're going to, they're going to come up with something to prove. Um, we'll go quicker on some of these other ones. Tennessee over New Orleans minus two and a half. I think Tennessee proved they're still a good team without Derrick Henry. Um, I know New Orleans is having a good season, but I think Trevor Simeon, Simeon, the you know the the, the clock's going to strike midnight on his pumpkin uh, carriage and Cinderella story. So Tennessee minus two and a, two and a half. That is a lock this week. Um, Tampa Bay minus nine and a half over Washington. Big number, big number. I think you know I think this might be the game that was kind of like Bills Jaguars last week. So I'm going to take Washington plus nine and a half here. I think that's a little too much for Tampa. They are a little banged up. Um, they are in Washington. So I think Tampa minus plus nine and a half or Washington plus nine and a half. I should say. Is a good bet here. So I'll go there. Detroit, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh minus five and a half. That number is way too low. I don't care what's going on for Pittsburgh. Nobody should have that close of a game against Detroit. I, I know that Detroit's played in some close ones this year, so I shouldn't say nobody should have that close of a game against Detroit. 
but they're bad enough that the line shouldn't be that close. So that should be easy money. That's another lock. Detroit, uh, Pittsburgh minus five and a half. Absolutely taking that one. Chargers minus three and a half over Minnesota. The Chargers were one of the only locks to hit last time. Minnesota's offense is really good, though, and I do feel like that's going to eventually come around for them and, and it start to produce. Could it be in this game against the Chargers? Their run defense isn't great. Could you get Dalvin Cook going? I'm not quite sure. It's a very tough game to pick. I think I will go with Minnesota plus 3.5. I think the Chargers are trending in the wrong direction. I think Minnesota gets a bounce back here. Carolina, Atlanta, uh, Carolina, Arizona, Arizona minus eight and a half, two backup quarterbacks, backup quarterback bowl. Arizona proved can be very effective with a backup. Carolina hasn't yet, but Carolina's defense a lot better than San Francisco's, so this is a tough one. I, you know, I do imagine this is going to be a low-scoring game, so I'll take Carolina with the plus eight and a half points. I, I, you know, I can't imagine Arizona's offense is going to find much of a rhythm here. Uh, I know they did against the 49ers, but once again. Defense for Carolina is much better than that right now. So, Green Bay minus three at home over Seattle. Russell Wilson expected to return. Um, that is a, a tough one. Uh, both quarterbacks, I think, expected to return that one. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers as well. So, Green Bay minus three. I'll take Green Bay. They were playing better. I mean, Seattle was struggling with Russell Wilson in there, quite frankly. So, I think Green Bay minus three at home is a safe, really safe pick. That'll be a lock this week as well. Denver minus one over Philly. Just way too low. I mean, Denver came out and played well last week. So that is way, way too low. I'm making Denver a lock this week. Minus one over Philadelphia. Lock that in. Denver's going to come out and play well. Kansas City favored by minus three and a half over Vegas. Uh, game is in Las Vegas. I'll take Vegas again. Vegas bit me last week, but I'm not going to make it a lock this time around. But I'll take Vegas plus three. I think that they can handle Kansas City. Um... With how Kansas City's playing, I think they got to bounce back. I think they're just a better team uh, this so far this season. So I think uh, I'm, I'm going to go there for this one. And then Rams minus 3.5 over San Francisco, even with everything that happened. Rams I still like. If you're getting that number lower because of the Robert Woods stuff, I like that. Rams minus 3.5. Why not? I'll make it a lock. I think I really feel confident in that one. I don't think San Francisco can compete with them. So those are the picks this week. Thank you guys all for watching as always. We'll see if we can bounce back, get on a better record than we had last week. Just under 500, very close. I think it was five and six. So, uh, you know, we we're very close to being able to uh, get over 500 if Pittsburgh had held on to that big lead. You say you, there's a ton of ands, if, or buts you can throw out every week about these picks, but I feel good about these ones. Thank you guys for watching. Hope I can uh, get, get you guys back in the win column with this, get myself back in the win column, and get on a little bit of a groove here. Week one, rocky start, but... We're going to coast from there. Thanks for watching. As always, guys, we'll catch you next time.